there's one product that you probably don't even know about that I think is the product of the year. It's something that's incredibly valuable to anyone with a laser cutter, FDM printer, resin printer. For people who solder, who paint miniatures, who glue, who spray paint, who woodwork, who use pretty much any device. It's something that nobody has actually asked me to cover. To find it, you need to dig under the accessories section and then general accessories of their site. But it is the device that you need to know about. And it's no exaggeration that it could save your life. Right, folks. Now, I know it's always easy to avoid safety devices and get focused on the new gadgets, but you know deep down <laughs> that you should think about safety. I make this mistake myself. So it's great to have people nudging you to remember to wear goggles and ear protection and dust masks and more. The sheer convenience of many devices these days means it's actually impractical to use masks as you'd have laser cutters cutting, 3D printers extruding or paints curing all day long. These devices are increasingly moving into the home given their increasing utility. There have been lots of dust filters on the market, especially for workshops, for many years. But they're pretty industrial, so they don't look great in all spots. They're designed for their target devices, so a woodworking filter is great for chunks of dust, but close to useless for finer particles or VOCs. So it ends up being a complex mess of decisions. I was looking for a face mask the other day that didn't fog up, and you end up with a confusion of different filters that you need to pop on and off, depending on the material you're working with. But Xtool have created what I consider the best device I have seen in 2024. Of course, it's designed for their lasers, but it works astonishingly well for any crafter. In fact, I am redesigning my whole workshop around this device, and I think you should too. Let me show you why. This is the Safety Pro AP2. Firstly, it looks like no workshop filter you've ever seen. The aerodynamic curves, the fins, the optimised turbine inlets. It's a showcase of mastered airflow. It's something you'd expect to see in a state-of-the-art jet turbine, which is no surprise given Jason, the CEO, studied aircraft design. And his fingerprints are all over this device. It oozes design standards. Even inside where you barely look, the exceptional design standards continue. Just Google workshop or laser cutter air filters and you'll see what I mean. I could put this in my lounge and it'd look great. But looks are not what it's about. There are five fundamental problems you see in standard filters. Firstly, they're non-universal. Filters are targeted at certain particle size, so it may work great for one task, but is actually dangerous in another. Number two, they clog. Filters clog up very quickly, especially due to large particles being used mixed with small particles. This clogging makes them quite expensive as you always have to replace the filters. They don't get the small stuff. They don't get fine enough for the really nasty stuff, the VOCs, the 0.3 nanometer particles. And finally, they're noisy. And this becomes dangerous as you don't want to turn them on because of all the din they create. I'll cut to the chase. Xtool have absolutely nailed all of these issues. But how they've done it is extraordinary. And this is why it changes the game for you. So firstly, they tackled this problem of non-universal filters by basically including all of them. <laughs> Most filters like your mask or your existing filters have one type of filter. Some decent ones get to three. The AP2 has six, <laughs> yes. 
six. <laughs> Firstly, it filters everything through a super cyclone. Those of you with woodworking cyclones will immediately know how cool this is and how much it reduces filter clogging. But they've gone nuts and put 36 mini cyclones within this unit. This immediately takes out 99% of all large particles, which is a game changer for the whole filter clogging issue. They've also made this washable and reusable, meaning this most cloggy part of the filter lasts forever. Then we get to the pre-filter, which takes out 90% of the dust, fibres and fine particles that make it through. Then anything that makes it through that gets to a medium filter, which takes out 95% of the dust down to 0.3 microns. For context, this is at the size of many viruses. But we're not even halfway there. On we go to an activated carbon layer. This takes out harmful fumes. So by this stage, 84% of even things like acidic gases are taken out. Then you get to the ultra dense carbon mesh. And as a brief aside, credit to Xtool as they've developed a massively denser carbon layer that's 400 times finer than the normal stuff you see. This then gives even more filtering, taking you to 99.99% of all odors, VOCs, SO2 and more. And then you get to the high efficiency filter. This completes everything with a 99.97% filtration level for 0.3 micron dust, allergens and viruses. This is bonkers. Just look at these stats. 99.8 PM 2.5, 99.97% 0.3 micron dust, 99% allergens, 97.97% odour removal, 99.9% toluene, 99.99% VOCs. I've tested this and it's the only filter I've ever tested that creates better air quality in the room when I'm using a laser cutter than when I'm not. Looping back to these other common issues, Naturally, having a washable cyclone filter massively reduces the filter clogging and the staged filter array means that you preserve your filters longer. Xtool in their marketing estimate this as lasting 10 times longer than the standard filters as a result. My guess would be that this is pretty conservative actually. The final point is they've managed to keep this monster operating at a dinky size and at a low volume. 55 decibels is pretty impressive. Now, if you've got an Xtool machine, you get even more treats. <laughs> it all connects by Bluetooth to XCS. So not only does it turn on automatically and off again, it actually configures the airflow to perfectly match the material that you're cutting. So for example, some materials like acrylic benefit from a slower airflow to ensure the odours aren't pushed into the later filters as much. But this device is quite frankly ridiculous being marketed for laser cutters. It's so universal for any maker and so good, it should have a class of its own. And Xtool need to get it out of being tucked away in the accessories section of their site and create a top level workshop safety section or something. I think it'd be awesome if Xtool could work out some way to open their API to other devices so that they could trigger it. I'm sure the community could handle the integrations. This would be awesome if Bamboo Studio could trigger it for my FDM printers, Chitu Box, Octoprint and more. Indeed, I'd love it if Home Assistant could control it too. Yes, they've obviously designed it for laser cutters, but this is such a good product. Its use is so much wider. It's an amazing device, and I know safety is something we always prioritise last, but the technical term for this is being stupid. There is no excuse not to save up for one of these. So if you want a class of its own, industry-leading, everything filter that can save your life in about 40 different ways, then seriously, 
seriously take a look at this. But if you have previously bought an Axtool laser or if you're buying one, then you can get it for $499 as a limited time deal. Fair dues to Axtool on this, actually. I really like firms that honour previous buyers of their products rather than those who only offer discounts to purchasers of new devices. Well, that's it. Please do spread the word on this. And I really think Axtool do deserve a lot of credit on this. These safety devices are always a hard thing to prioritise, but they've really been pushing this across the industry. I haven't even had a chance to check out their Stella duct fan, their cool fire safety device that I also bought with my P2 and, and more. I'll pop links in the description as always, but first click the link to the AP2 and marvel at a piece of sheer engineering brilliance.